Yet at Christmas, you know, little kitties, you can't tell them no different. They just, it's Christmas time for them. And they wouldn't have their little sock hung up. There would be something, it's a tradition, even in our nation, that they hang up a sock and something or another. Well, I, I did when I was a kid. And, and although it's as far off the scripture, beaten path as it is, yet kids are, they hear the other kids say, well, I got this for Christmas. I got this. The little fellow standing around looking, you know, you, you can't make them understand. So just Christmas is here to stay. <laughs> and it isn't the birthday of our Lord, the time he was born. Now, if you'll get on your on the globe and look, Judea is just as about as far under the equator as this is above it. So we find out in Judea and them mountains up there that there's snow. My, it's more snow than there is here. So the shepherds could not be on the mountain at that time herding their sheep. And uh, another thing, he it'd be contrary to all nature. See, lambs and so forth are spring born. Not this time of year. Lambs are not born now. The, the yos don't lamb now. And he was a lamb of God, you see. So there, he was born along, and they claim along in April sometime, middle of April, something like that. But this being the 25th of December, why make it their birthday? This is the sun god's birthday. See, the Roman Balaam, the sun god. See, and the sun is just exactly halfway around now. And from the 20th until the 25th is when the Roman circus was in celebration of the sun god's birthday. And the, so they said, well, now to please the both Christian and pagan, we'll make instead of sun god, the son of God and the sun god together. So we'll put it all together and make it the same birthday and make it on the 25th. So it seemed to please the pagan and the nominal church then of the first church of Rome were just it was just all right with them, so they didn't care. So they made it both Son God and Son of God's birthday. Now, the longest day in the year is along about the 21st or 22nd. The longest night, I mean, in the year is long about the 21st or 22nd, when in the solar system the sun is just bouncing over, coming back. Now, they'll start getting just a few seconds or minutes Longer, and then sometime up in June or July, we have the longest day in the year. So, but Christmas is here to stay. <laughs> We're, we can't help it. Uh, tubeless tires are here to stay. I hate them, but they're, they're here to stay. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> Undressed women, they're here to stay. Shorts, they're going to stay. That's all. They're going to get shorter all the time. So, ain't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I just say it's wrong. Stay with it. That's right. Sin, it's here to stay. It's here to stay. We're going to have it on and on. So just, uh, it's here to stay until Jesus comes. And uh, all these things are here to stay. Now, I do not believe, let me make this clear. I do not believe that Jesus would care what day you worshiped his birthday on. If it's the 25th, 26th, or whether it's April, May, June, July, or whenever it might be. Just so you worship, you worship Him on any day. But, here's what it is. They have taken the sacredness from Christmas to make it not a Christmas, but a worship day, but a celebration. See, we do not... You hear people say, we're going to celebrate Christmas. That's wrong. We should never celebrate Christmas. Christmas is a day of worship, not a celebration. Yes. 